Hi, we're pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins, Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles, a ministry without walls and boundaries, offering outpatient and aftercare programs throughout the United States. And these TV programs and these videos are to help you no matter where you are in these programs. So we're going to open up today and we're going to talk about something different. The next four programs, we're going to talk about things that we was going to address in the addiction seminar. And first of all, they've been canceled. We're doing them now on WTJR, who's hosting them. And so it's only an hour-long program, and the seminars were set up for two hours. So we're going to be addressing some of the things that we're going to be talking about in the seminars, which we cannot get in the uh, TV programs. So, Julie, we're going to be talking about some of these things this, that's going on that we need to address, okay? Yes. And so let's look at some of the things we were addressing. First of all, I want you to open up with one of the major addictions. We're going to talk about the number one addiction in the United States today in the year 2020. And so would you uh, please open up and share sure, that with us? Sure, sure. Well, the number one addiction in the year 2020 uh, is technology addiction. Um, technology is the new addiction. The first cell phone hit the market in 1973 and more than 40 years later, uh, more than half of the United States population was carrying a cell phone in their purses or their pockets. Today that number is closer to 95% with 77% of Americans owning a smartphone. But does technology work as originally intended to enable to communicate better, or is it increase in, as the increase in personal technology a sign of mass addiction? And that was brought up by Captain Peter Ryan of the U.S. Navy, retired at a, a usnavyinstitute.org website. And we thought it was pertinent to our topic because um, we see so many people uh, tra uh, substituting a technology addiction for, for their time with God. Now, you can get technology apps on your cell phone that are Christian-based. You can get a CTNWTJR app on your cell phone and watch this program or many other programs. And uh, you can uh, put the Word of God. Uh, you can get there's all kinds of Bible apps out there that we want you to encourage you to get, but it is becoming uh, the number one addiction that is distracting us and taking times away. In fact, texting and driving, uh, as uh, there are like 1.6 million car crashes a year due to texting and driving. So that kind of gives you an idea of how distracted people are getting with a technology addiction. So sometimes things are good in many cases, yeah. but can be used wrong. Right. And cell phones, we all use a cell phone every day. Sure. In our ministry, one of the main things we do today is cell phones. We call people all over the United States. People call us from all over the United States. And so we need the cell phones. Yeah. You know, so cell phones can be very good in one case, but very bad in another. Depends on what we're using them for. Yes. And so technology is not bad. It's no. just there's a lot of things that are not bad. It depends on how you use it. Exactly. So, you know, first of all, that brings us back to a point. Uh, the point is really, what is addiction? Yeah. You know, what is addiction? And addiction is something that controls our mind and our behavior. And this is talked about in the Bible. See, yes. most people really don't understand addiction. They don't understand why do people do the things they do. Well, if you have a loved one that's addicted to something, you know, you can't understand why they're doing what they're doing. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. But it's because they're being controlled by something that they can't handle. And let's look what the Bible says about that. <clears throat> Romans 6, 16 through 18 says this. Starting with verse 16. Do you not know that who you present yourselves slaves to obey, you're that one slave who you obey, whether sin leading to death. Now that death doesn't only mean a physical death, that means a spiritual death, being separated from God forever, right? Amen. Yeah. Leading to death. Or obedience leading to righteousness. 
Verse 17 says, But God be thanked, though you were slaves of sin, you obeyed from that, you obeyed from the heart that form a doctrine which you were delivered. Doesn't say anything about recovered. There's many programs out there today, recovery programs, and they're good programs, but they keep you in recovery the rest of your life. This program, Addiction Free in Christ, is a deliverance program because it's based on the Word of God. Uh, this word says right here, which you were delivered. That means totally set free. It goes on, and having been set free from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. <clears throat> the Bible only talks about recovery three times, but deliverance 98 times. Our God is a God of salvation, deliverance, and healing. Amen. And so this program is about deliverance. Amen. So the only thing we use in this program is not some theory of man, not what book somebody wrote. The only thing we use in, this, in our program is one book, the book that God wrote, the Bible, because it is the only answer. Because, you see, addiction is when someone is controlled by something, their mind or their behavior, that they can't do anything about. I understand that. I was there once in my life. You've been there once in your life. Yeah. So you can understand that thoroughly. Yes. Let's look at something else. Let's go back to electronic devices. I think you have another whole page there. Yes. Now, this book will be later, will be on our website. Yes. So you can go through this book page by page later, right? Right. After we release the seminar, uh, addiction seminar, we'll put this on the website with it. So you can follow along with the addiction seminar. But it's interesting because uh, technology is the newest legal addiction. 95% of people own a cell phone, which is not a bad thing in and of itself. But ownership of a smartphone is considered a necessity today. Yeah, because you can't find pay phones anymore. But the various associated gaming platforms and social media interfaces create a distraction that can lead to significant uh, uh, problems for the users. Social media usage is a growing in parallel with smartphone ownership in the United States and has become extremely prevalent, particular with younger generations. The problem is not a single app, device, or game, but the amount of time people spend or feel they need to spend online. A recent study suggests that 78% of Americans between the ages of 18 and 24 use social media app Snapchat with sizable majority of users, 71% using the platform multiple times a day. While social media uh, platforms are popular among uh, military personnel and other personal technology platforms such as YouTube, video games, and online pornography have similar statistics and are just as time consuming and while we add also damaging to your spiritual life with your Heavenly Father, if you're looking at things that aren't pleasing to God and um, are violating the Ten Commandments, then, then we, that's where we run into trouble. And um, that the only way to do, get free of that is through a relationship with Jesus Christ. Because he said uh, in um, Luke 11, 9, uh, that's a Luke 11, Verse 9, so I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds and to him who knocks it will be opened. There's, uh, it's amazing that people would substitute uh, technology for the living and real God, but it's easy to become distracted today. It says, uh, it mentions the chemical reaction in our brains in this seminar book. It says the cascade of near processes kicks off the brain's reward circuitry and the rush of pleasure, a chemical dopamine, which is created in our brains, can be triggered just as easily as the release of the latest iPhone as by alcohol, sex, or a fast car. In some ways, technology can be used as a drug. So we can see that there is a correlation between anything uh, that 
uh, you substitute for God, you know, and the Lord wants to draw you into a personal relationship with him through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And to do that, all you have to do is surrender your life to him and give, just give your life over to him. But we talk about this because uh, we don't want people to feel alone. We want people to realize that they're not alone in this fight and that they realize usually that they do have a problem because the Lord will speak to them about it and will let them know in several ways that they're getting away from the Word of God and, and, and absorbing all their time in something that is not evangelism. While some people evangelize using Facebook, that's not what we're talking about. Okay. But well, we got about And WTJR has a Facebook page too that's awesome, so I would encourage you to go to that. But we do want to uh, take time to thank our sponsors. This program has been brought to you with the help of Pepco uniform mats and towels of Quincy, Illinois, and Nick Examus of Westtown Ford Lincoln, Jacksonville, Illinois, and other viewers like you. And we thank you for sponsoring these programs. So the, the main thing is that we're trying to uh, let everybody know right now is technology is not bad. No. But if we misuse it. Right. And it has become a major addiction. You sure. know, and what addiction again is anything that controls our mind and our behavior. You know, we use a cell phone every day. In fact, in this ministry, we call people across the United States. People will call us from across the United States. And this is a major tool we use in this ministry yeah. because I don't know what we'd do without a cell phone. Right. Because we have people all over the United States that we can help by just simply picking up the phone and call. If you're one of those people, you can call us today at 617-5577. Uh, That's 217-617-5577. So if you're struggling with a problem, or if you have a loved one struggling with a problem, there's help available. And that's what it's all about. That's what we're here for. And we just ask you this. Just stop and think about something for a minute. How much time do you spend every day on cell phones, computers, TVs, electronic devices, and how much time do you spend in prayer or Bible study? Amen. Or watching Christian TV? I mean, how much time is God getting from you every day, and how much time is the world getting from you every day? You see, anything can be bad or anything can be good. You know, it's just depends on how we take it. The main thing is the Bible wants us to line up our word, our lives with his word. And that's what we need to do. So we're encouraging you today. If you're struggling, if you have a friend or a loved one, or you yourself are struggling with any kind of an addiction, we just ask you to call us today. That's at area code 217-617-5577. Or you can email us at Rev Jerry. Rev Jerry at addictionfreeinchrist.com. And I'll go to our website also at www.addictionfreeinchrist.com. Thank you so much. And we appreciate you. Let us know about your prayer requests. <laughs>